please do not be afraid. You are safe, I assure you. That is it. You are okay. You are safe. My name is... What was the name that I chose again? Oh, yes. Uh, Natassi. My name is Natassi. I am... Uh, uh, babysitter. Yes, I am. Uh, a normal human babysitter for you. And, um, this is my babysitter chamber. <laughs> okay. Uh, honey? Uh, yeah. Uh, you have been a very good human, but... Your parental units have determined that you must be unconscious by seven-eighths of a standard air rotation. So please. Consume this babysitting fluid so that you may follow their directive and so that I may properly sit on you. This is not convincing you at all, human. I apologize. I was given so little time to prepare. <laughs> uh, yeah. I must confess that I am not actually your human babysitter at all. This was a ruse intended to comfort you and put you at ease so that I could properly study you. I apologize if this revelation causes you any distress or discomfort, human. Am I a... what? Yes, actually I am an alien, as you say. How are you able to guess that so quickly? Ah, yes. Uh, my blue skin and the spaceship would be a dead giveaway, I suppose. <sighs> Probing? Dissecting? <gasps> oh, not at all! Oh, I have not brought you aboard my ship for any such unpleasantness. Quite frankly... I am insulted that you would assume such ill intent on my part. It really is quite hurtful that you would think that I would do those things to you. <laughs> All I wanted to do was to study you. I do not have you restrained or shackled or anything like that because... Well, because that would be very mean... And I hope to make a good first impression on you. Preferably by pretending to be whatever a babysitter is for you. So that I could study how such human babysitter slash honey relationships function. That's why I donned the traditional babysitter uniform of sweatpants and t-shirt and ponytail to fully embody the role. I only wish to be friendly to you, human. Humans of your age do not typically require babysitters? <laughs> of course! That must be why my perfect babysitter disguise failed. There is no other explanation. You wish to know that would have happened next, had my plan succeeded? Well, I had also assumed that you would be smaller, so my intent was to use the so-called babysitting liquid to induce drowsiness, then sit you upon my lap under the pretense of checking you for small insectoid parasites before your parental units return from the library movie bookstore, I would then study you with my various implements until you fell asleep in my arms. 
Then, I would return you to your bed in your home, and this would all seem like a pleasant dream. Why, babysitter? Well, younger members of your species tend not to be as talkative or as critical of me and my act. I try to avoid lengthier conversation with adults as they have mocked me in the past. Yes, mocked. Whenever my disguises would fail in the past, as this one did, adults of your species have tended to make fun of my failures. It is quite hurtful, actually. I only wish to provide them with comfortable dreamlike experiences while I study them. But still, they see fit to laugh at my incorrect verbiage or misunderstanding of cultural touchstones. It is quite hurtful. I am not certain what to do with you now, to be honest. You obviously do not need a babysitter, and I do not wish to be made to look foolish in front of an adult human. Shall I just return you to your home now? No. Human, I do not think I would be able to hold you on my lap. Oh, not as a babysitter? Human, are you trying to tell me that you would like to be examined by me? <laughs> yes, I am aware of what cute means. Are you attempting the human bonding ritual known as flirting with me, human? <laughs> well, yes, it is working. <laughs> but <laughs> what scenario could I create in which to comfortably study your physiology, human? One in which I will not be... mocked. Cute. Alien. Nurse. Oh, as in for a checkup. Oh, human, that is perfect. Quickly, let me change so you can begin. <laughs> there. Is this cute enough for you, sir? Oh, perfect. I shall improvise small talk during the examination, so as to complete the experience for you. <clears throat> Mr. Human, the cute alien nurse will see you now. Please have a seat on the semi-organic mass that just rose from the floor, and I will begin your standard human medical assessment. Hello, Mr. Human. I will be your nurse for today. Let us begin our slate of tests and specimen extractions, as we are running incredibly behind schedule. First, please consume some of this examination liquid. Thank you, sir. Now we shall begin our examination with the standard retrieval of human skin samples. While I am doing this, allow me to ask a few questions. What is your favorite color? Yes, yes, of course. That is actually my favorite color too. And then, when is your birthday? I 
just have to mark it in my calendar so that I can send you a customary greeting card from my home planet. <gasps> you would be the only human ever to have one of those. Uh, nobody would even believe you, but you would know it's true. And then you would know this whole thing wasn't a dream because you have a greeting card from the outer space. <clears throat> Mr. Human, what town are you from? Which is a compliment to the town in itself, of course. <laughs> oh, the removal of your dead skin cells is proceeding smoothly. of this nasty dead skin. We must keep those pores clean and healthy so that you can return to making all of the human girls blush with your winning smile, yes? It certainly works on cute alien girls. <laughs> Sir, you're being such a good patient for me. I am so very grateful to you for this. Removal of your wax for laboratory testing. engaged in a romantic partnership with another human? Very good. I will make a note of that in your file. <laughs> Are you currently searching for a romantic partnership? Very good. Tell me this then. What is your favorite place to go on dates with cute alien nurses? I am asking generally in my professional position, of course. <laughs> Yes, 
that is a very good place for taking cute alien nurses. I can assure you that they would love that very much. Also, your hair is so nice and soft, human, but I do enjoy running my implements and fingers through it. You seem quite relaxed by this activity. Your blissful expression tells me that you are finding your special cute alien nurse examination to be very pleasant, as I hoped that it would be. You seem so close for returning to sleep, human. It seems that the examination liquid is doing its job. Before that, however, I have one more test for you. The combing of your hair for dandruff and small insectoid parasites. a good human. You have been so helpful to me, human, and so sweet to me as well. I have a few more questions, and then I shall let you fall asleep. You will wake up later in your bed at home, as if from a beautiful dream. So, human, do you find cute alien nurses to be attractive as potential romantic partners? <laughs> I just thought that you would say that. <laughs> I am now under the impression that you suggested cute alien nurse to me in order to delay your return home and to see me in this admittedly cute nurse ensemble. Is that true? Oh, you are such a devious specimen. Final question, Mr. Human. Do you believe that 
that it is professionally acceptable for acute alien nurses to kiss their patients on the first examination? Or is that more of a third examination sort of thing?